हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ रियलाइजेशन ऑफ लॉजिक गेट्स ऑफ यूनिट फाइव डी एस डी इन अर्लियर क्लास वी हैव सीन आर टी एल एंड गेट इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी आर टी एल नैंड नॉर एंड और फ्रॉम दिस दिस द डाइग्राम कंसिस्ट ऑफ रजिस्टर्स एंड ट्रांजिस्टर्स इन कॉम्बो विच गिवस मी द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ any of the basic or universal gates let us see as we know this uh, functional table or the truth table of your nand nor and or we are just going to verify with our given circuit let us say as we can see these two transistors are connected in series and the inputs are applied to the base of the each transistors and 5 volt supply vcc supply is given to operate to make the circuit operational now let us see when you have applied both the inputs at 0 0 here i am calling my inputs a and b are the two inputs which are given to the base of each of the transistor t1 and t2 respectively now when a is 0 b is 0 we can see that transistor t1 is open circuit as well transistor t2 is also open circuit that means t1 is off t2 is off when both the circuits are off it is something like a open circuit over here and the output will be connected to the vcc which will be a 5 volt something but equals to 1 volt that means when both the inputs are 0 0 t1 and t2 are off there is no path to get grounded and the entire output voltage entire voltage will be produced at the output in the second case when a is 0 and b is 1 when a is 0 and b is 1 when zero is applied to the base of the transistor we know that the transistor will be non operational is non conducting that means it is a open circuit nothing but it is a off whereas b is one which makes the t2 forward bias and it is conducting that means it is a short circuit it is a open circuit again the things will not get grounded and the output will be connected to the vcc therefore y is one in other case even when you do vice versa that is your a is 1 and b is 0 that means t1 is on t2 is off when one on other off this circuit this path will be a open circuit kind of and the output will be connected to vcc therefore y equals to 1 now in the last case if you see when both the inputs are high which makes the transistor base t1 and t2 forward bias which makes the transistor t1 t2 in a conducting mode that is they are on once they are on that means it is a kind of short circuit path from this end to this end therefore the entire voltage will get grounded and the output will be zero so if we put this values over here we can see that this circuit gives us the realization of nand gate so this that's why we call this name as rdl nand gate Now same way, let us have a look at another circuit of RTL NOR gate. Now we can see these two transistors are connected in parallel with each other and connected through connected to VCC through your R. Now again we are going to apply inputs at the base of each transistors. The transistors are in pin transistors and in common emitter configurations. Without going into much detail of the operation of the transistors. simply for the sake of understanding remember that when the transistors in such a configuration common emitter configuration npn transistors when you apply a zero voltage it is not conducting open circuit off transistor when one is given on circuit closed path and out and circuit is conducting that's it now in case of rtl now as a, let us not not go to the name of nor i have one circuit and i have to verify the functionality of this circuit what kind of output i can get from this circuit so let us say a and b both are zero zero because always you may get up fed up of listening every time zero 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 one one zero one one that's what we have actually in digital subject either you can give input 0 as 1 as you have two inputs you can make four possible combinations that is 2 power 2 and equals to 2 so obviously 2 power n nothing but 2 power 2 nothing but 4 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so i have listed out all these four possible combinations 
now i am applying input 0 0 to both the transistors i can see as we discussed earlier when 0 is given to this transistor it is open circuit means it is not conducting t1 is off t2 is also off when both are off circuit is open from here to here you can imagine the circuit is open here because of this inputs applied 0 0 and again output is connected to your VCC therefore it is 1. Now in the next case let us assume your input is 0 sorry A is 0 and B is 1. A is 0 and B is 1. When this is the case as A is 0 T1 will be off and as B is 1 T2 will be on. As it is off it is open circuit as it is on it is on circuit now your current got will flow through your resistors R and it will get to the grounded because it got a short circuit path over here because of which your output will not be VCC but it will be 0. Now in the same case if you take A is a 1 and B is 0 then what happens your T1 will be on, T2 is off. Why? Because we know we have given 1 to the transistor T1 which makes this transistor forward bias. B is 0, it makes it reverse bias, so circuit is open. So T1 is on, T2 is off and therefore now as it is off open circuit, the entire current will pass through this shortest path and it gets grounded. Therefore the output will not be 1, the output will be 0. Now both are 1, that means one A and 1 and B is 1, both the transistors in forward bias you will get short circuit path here so entire output gets grounded very soon and your output will be zero so from this table i can understand this is nothing but your nor gate which is exactly opposite of your or wherein your zero zero was zero and rest all are one here in case of nor zero zero is one and rest all are zero so this is what your rdl nor gate and the last circuits which we have to study today that is your RTL OR gate. Now, can you tell me about this? Hmm? Okay, any guesses? Same logic, same story. Apply the inputs A, B as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. As you can see when A, when A and B are 0, 0, A and B are 0, 0, when a is 0, B is 0, we know that T1 is off, T2 is off. When T1 and T2 is off, when T1 and T2 is off, that means open circuit, so entire VCC along with the voltage drop across this R, the input will be appeared across your T3, which makes the T3 on, that means T3 conducting, therefore the output is 0. That means when you give 0, 0, output is 1. Why? Because T1 and T2 are off, off. No current flows through this circuit. So entire voltage drop is there across this terminal. And that is acting as input for the T3. So T3 is on. When T3 is on, that means it gets short circuited to the ground. And the entire VCC will be going to the ground and no output produced. That means 0, 0, output is 0. Now let us check with the... Last combination let us say because uh, we have tried many in the previous circuits. Now let us check for the last. A and B are 1, 1. When A and B are 1, 1. Can I say T1 and T2 are on, on? T1 and T2 are on, on. When T1 and T2 are on, on. No enough voltage is up supplied to the base of the transistor T3. Which makes the transistor T3 open circuit. And due to which the output will be high. That means... When you applied 0, 0, you got output 0. When you applied 1, 1, you got output 1. That means these two combinations I have tested. Now let us check one more last combination. The rest you can do it as a homework. Let us say A is 0 and B is 1. A is 0 and B is 1. When A is 0, T1 is off. T2 is on. T1 is off. T2 is on. When it is on, so... There is no enough voltage across the base of T3 which makes T3 off open circuit and the output will be connected to high, logic high, therefore output is 1. That means from this observation we can see that when both the inputs are 0, 0, T1, T2 off, T3 on which makes output 0. In either of the case when we have any input as a 1 or more than 1, 
the respective transistors will be on and off and the output will be 1 which gives me the true table of my OR gate. So this is all for today's class that is RTL and OR NOR gates. Rest gates you can practice by your own. Hope you will do best for your exams. Thank you.